Police received several calls at 6.11, reporting a man firing a gun close to Biddick Drive. Jake Davison had shot and killed his 51-year-old mother, Maxine Davison, inside a house. He later left the residence and shot and killed three-year-old Sophie Martin and her 43-year-old father, Lee Martin, on the street outside. Police say he then moved further down the road and opened fire at a 53-year-old man and a 33-year-old woman. Both are currently in hospital but aren't seriously injured. From there, Davison went to a nearby park where he shot and killed 59-year-old Stephen Washington. He then went to Henderson Place where he shot 66-year-old Kate Shepherd, who later died from her injuries. Davison then turned the gun on himself. Our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, reports. On a balmy summer's evening, a motorist dashboard camera caught a chilling moment in an unfolding horror. A figure crouches over a shot victim, a woman who later died in hospital. Down the road, no one else seemed aware of what was happening. Two weeks earlier, on his own YouTube channel, gunman Jake Davison was clearly a troubled young man. I just don't have any willpower to do anything anymore, you know? I know a lot of people say, oh, that's weak-minded, that's pathetic, but, dude, it's, it's like how many years I've been working out, how many years I've been wanting and dealing with all these frustrations. Davison's neighbours soon learned how he'd dealt with his frustrations. Just after six, my son was up there, obviously with his friends at the dog park, he said he heard some, either some, a big bang. He said he, um, don't know if somebody got shot or stabbed, so he come running back to me, told me, we ran up, times we got up there, police were on scene, and obviously they were doing CPR on some person, don't know if it's a lady or a man. I heard a bit of a commotion at the back, an helicopter's coming, or an helicopter came over and, and landed in the field, and then there was another helicopter outside hovering and then going around and there was police cars going up and down the street and sirens everywhere and all of a sudden that they all went up here, up Biddick Drive behind me and just literally covered the place. In a 12-minute rampage, crane operator Jake Davison shot dead two men, two women and a three-year-old girl. He injured another man and woman. The bodybuilder shot himself dead as armed police arrived. It began when he kicked open a door and shot dead his mother, Maxine. Davison had a licence to own a gun, but why was he allowed to? The chief constable said his force issued thousands of gun licences a year. We do take firearms licences away from people when they come to notice the police or family members raise concerns, later to restore them once we're assured. That will form part of the inquiry. When was it granted? Was it granted correctly? Was it ever removed? Was it ever restored? Do you know yet whether he held a licence last night? As I understand it, Martin, right now, he was still a licence holder last night. On social media, Jake Davison talked about guns and watched videos about guns. Witnesses said he killed his victims with a pump-action shotgun. Police were speaking to witnesses to the shootings and urged others to contact them. Martin Brunt, Sky News, Plymouth.